Hello, Leo, my fellow lions. What's going on? I hope you guys are having a, an awesome August. First of all, happy birthday to all of you. It is Leo season, and I hope you're handling Leo season well. We're kind of, we're not in the thick of 2020 anymore. We're past the halfway point, but eh, it's, eh, there's still, still a lot more chaos to expect later on. But at least August is a little bit lighter, and uh, that's what I've been feeling from Leo season is a little bit more optimism amidst the uh, chaos, the global storm that is happening right now. Um, I also want to apologize for not doing your reading first, uh, as this is my first time doing monthly readings for the 12 Zodiac signs on YouTube. So um, I did not think of doing your uh, tarot reading first, but, 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 happy birthday. All right. And uh, I hope you're having an awesome time with however people, ho however many people are around you and whatever circumstances are in your life. I hope you're able to find a little bit of joy. And uh, I think you're, you're pretty good at that, generally speaking, Leo. So welcome to the channel. My name is Volk. I'm your tarot reader and we'll do a monthly overview for this month for you. Um, First of all, as I'm a little bit late, uh, since we're already August 11th and I'm looking at the clock, August 11th, 11, 11, 11, 11 a.m. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but maybe it means something, especially being that we have a new moon in Leo for you as well on August 18th. Uh, so you're really, I think you're really working on how you want to lead your life in a more empowering way I think you're you're working on being more present in how you steer the wheels of your own life and Leo is such a great positive force for people and you're great at helping other people and shedding lights on their own lives but you gotta I think like can't kind of like cancer you're needing to put the focus on yourself at the time so let's see what's going on for you. Let's let's take a look at what happened or what overall feeling or circumstance we're looking at at the first week. What happened in the first week of August for you, Leo, my lions? Feeling a little bit low. Feeling not good enough. Something to do with self-value, not receiving, uh, not receiving what you've given, especially maybe in the professional aspect. Uh, also feeling a little bit depleted as well physically. There is a need to nurture yourself a little bit more at this time. And so, yeah, there's a little bit of exhaustion there. Hmm. Venus is in your 12th house. So she's going to help you get closer to the part of you that is hidden under the veil and sort of closer to your authenticity. Mars and Chiron are in the ninth house for you of expansion, travel, wisdom, philosophy, ethics. So with the 12th house and Venus and Mars and Chiron in the ninth, we're really working on deepening the meaning of your life because it's there's a lack of it. There's a lack of depth in your own life. And as a result, you're tired from the other people that you're taking care of. We had a full moon in, in the seventh house of your opposing sign, Aquarius, which has to do with partnerships, one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships. And uh, you're kind of releasing a lot of the... 
the pressure on being the positive force for other people. We have the Knight of Wands for this week. For this current week, you're um, you're feeling a little bit more ambitious about uh, your own life again. So Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn are retrograding. They're they're going slower at a slower pace in the sixth house for you of daily life, health, fitness, routine, habits. It's the house of Virgo. But all of these planets there, they're slowing. They're really putting the brakes on your life on all fronts, mostly in the day-to-day, -day, so that you can give yourself a little bit more time to develop your own ambition for what you want. But there's a... I feel like this week you're still... You're still having a look back at the feeling of not being good enough, of not receiving your due support, and yeah, you're kind of going backwards a little bit towards that. So you need to you need to set your sights on the future. But at the same time, I think you're examining what you've felt on the first week and you're learning from it. But there's also a red flag to not run back towards it. Because at the third week, you need to focus on what you're talented at and working on it. And... This is going to be by Virgo season. We have the card of Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. So you're regaining your ambition, spending more time within yourself, and focusing on the one thing that you you really care about, your own calling. Because Uranus is in the 10th house for you for several years until 2026. So you're really going to be changing the way you work. And I think work will be even more exciting for you moving forward. And you've been thinking a lot about what you want, what you identify with lately. And you're trying to find creativity on how to navigate life in a very elusive space where there's a lot more imagination and dreaming happening. Um, you're aligning your love for work based on uh, your spiritual growth. And you're learning how to love that process. So what do we have at the, at the last week of the month? Hmm. Ten of Swords. Reversed. So... There could be some other people that are not going to like your change in in uh, behavior. So you you might have been there for a lot of people, and suddenly you're you know as you're focusing more on yourself, there's a temptation to again uh, feel obligated to be there for other people so there's there might be some people that are not liking you uh letting go of you of the attention for them and diverting it for yourself and so there can be a lot of mental pressure that suddenly arises at the end of the month so What's the advice card here? What's the outlining card for this month for Leo? Uh, 
The full card reversed. Let's let's have a sip of matcha tea and talk about it. <sighs> Careful to not do something reckless. The advice is to uh be a little bit slower and um, if you have had some plans if you really want to radically change your life now is not the time and not the time to do it right now uh, yeah don't do something you're going to regret and there's also a need to not be too childish. Um, there's, yeah, there's a sense of foolishness here that might aggravate the situation. So uh, just be a little bit more, just be slower overall. Don't put, don't um, be in a rush to jump to the next phase of your life. All right. Because you're not in the right state of mind or life to, to do this. Um, because if you if you jump off the cliff or not not phys not literally but you know figuratively if you go for if you leap for a new project it's not the time because you're um, your finances could be also low at the time so you're you know you're kind of rebuilding that at the moment and you're having a look back at the the finances so just take it slowly this month leo i think there's a need to go deeper first in and within your soul before you make some some moves uh, quote unquote what's in your subconscious leo The Knight of Cups reversed. So not feeling appreciated enough. Uh, your... You're lacking a certain motivation to do certain things. And I think what's happening here with the, re with the reversed card of the Knight of Cups... This has to do strongly with this. Knowing that certain people don't have your best interest and waiting for them to react in the most unpleasant way. Because underneath, I mean, after we have, we have this reversed, we have the justice card reversed. So it has to do with other people, certain connections with friendships, work relationships, uh, maybe certain friends just don't have the, the best thing in mind for you. So And so you know that they do, but you... Yeah. It's an unpleasant experience. And... And uh, part of it is because you've been putting more folks on yourself, Leo. All right? Because... Not the time. Not to, not the time to abandon ship or to leave everything. Just, uh, you know, be present within your own life and go separate yourself from the crowd a little bit. I mean, everyone's needing to do that for the most part. With Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn in retrograde, the world is at a halt. Things are being dismantled, um, reconstructed. There's a karmic need to work on who you are because you've lost your sense of innocence as well. And I'm also getting the idea that you've been working hard for these other people that don't have your best interests. 
which has made you feel like you're regressing and you're falling back on, on f that feeling of contentment. And you're looking back, you're examining why it is you don't have any, any foundation for yourself at the moment. And you want to bring back, you want to rekindle that sense of creativity, right? Leo rules the fifth house of creativity and fun and joy, but you're not feeling that joy and fun. And so you don't want to, you don't want to run <laughs> into that new phase of life without knowing exactly how you want to approach that future. So the insight is to slow down, slow down. Limit your interactions with certain people. By the new moon in Leo, by the new moon in Leo, you're going to figure out how you want to, what kind of person you want to be and, and who you allow in your life, right? So sometimes Leo people are focused on having a big circle of friends, of of you know, the best kind of people in their lives. But if we want the best kind of people in, in your life, it, it, within our lives, we got to filter out the the weeds in the garden. The weeds in the garden, right? Uh, because you're not feeling appreciated and loved in, in exactly the, the way that you were hoping for, for all of the work and the insight and the dedication that you've had for other people, the, the sense of service. It hasn't been compensated to you or appreciated in the way that you want. And that's understandable. And that's Leo's biggest pitfall is um, looking for uh, appreciation and validation from other people is that Leo has a bit of a tendency to want to feel prideful and to have to, to have the attention and the spotlight on them right which is representative of your native planet uh, native uh, ruler the sun right shining the light on the world it's always there we see the sun it's inescapable it it adds light to a lot of planets the moon etc it's our daily lives but um You got to go, you got to go within, you got to slow down and go from within a little bit because you need to love yourself from a place of, uh, of spirituality of, of, you need to allow yourself to dream and, to you need to wear your rose tinted glasses, your rose colored glasses, dream your, allow yourself to imagine the, the life that you would want for yourself. What animal card do we need for you? So we're going to pull one animal spirit card for this reading. Happy birthday again, Leo. Again, I'm sorry for not doing your reading first. And I hope you understand. Thank you for your, your patience. What do we need for Leo? What exactly do we need for Leo? It's taken a while, I know, but sometimes a little bit of a little bit of quiet and silence is needed. You're the first one to get a a spirit card in this batch of monthly readings. So we have the unicorn. There's a need to develop a sense of creativity through from an inside place, from from a very unknown place of of self-nurturing and 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 um it's like you're gonna have a reset on your spirit 
once you can enjoy a little bit of solitude, you'll develop your sense of innocence again. We have a white horse, a white unicorn, which is usually representative of purity, right? Same thing here. We have the white rose and the fool and the white dog. But you, you need to um, essentially enjoy a little bit of that darkness instead of the sunlight that you're ruled by. Uh, let yourself be unnoticed a little bit. Go your walk your own path for a little while. Do it. Don't be afraid. And that's the thing. You, you're afraid that by doing that, that people are going to keep, you're going to lose people and it's going to make you feel less valuable. But no, not, a, not the time to, to think like that. You're shifting the way you think. Mercury, Mercury is in your first house as well. So you, you need to focus on changing the way you think about yourself, how you perceive yourself. So beautiful, beautiful card, by the way, but it almost makes me think of Venus. And we also have a new moon. We have a full moon being represented here, which kind of denotes the full moon. We had an Aquarius again in your seventh house of partnerships and other people, one-on-one -on -one relationships, close connections. Uh, there's a need to let that dissipate so that you can make, make space for more beauty and, and creativity in, in your own psyche so that then you can shift this like that and be ready on, on that reset, the white, the white canvas that you're going to be able to paint in the way that you want without anyone else splattering paint over it. It's your painting. So Leo, this is a beautiful reading for you. Uh, you just need a little bit of solitary time. All right. Enjoy the dark space the, where it'll, it allows you to, to, to focus on yourself. Think about it, right? When, when it's nighttime, that's when, when we think the most about ourselves. And you, th you need that right now. You need to think a little bit about yourself. Not saying that you need to be uh, selfish. But um, you, you, you will develop better wisdom when you remove yourself from needing to be the positive force for other people. All right. Leo, thank you for tuning in. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash icyvolk uh, for announcements, updates. Otherwise, we do live tarot readings on Saturday and Sunday, typically on twitch.tv slash icyvolk. Uh, you can also join our community uh, community on Discord at discord.gg slash icyvolk. And uh, if you would like to invest in this content, if you want to see this kind of content more often, and you want to see more developments of this kind of content, uh, you can always consider leaving a monetary tip on my PayPal at PayPal. Uh, it'll be in the description. You'll find it. But otherwise, again, happy birthday, Leo. And uh, thank you for listening in. I hope you learn how to appreciate yourself and how to put yourself on that pedestal without needing the approval of other people. All right. I'll leave you. I'll leave you to think on that. Signing out. Volk, your tarot reader. Until next time. Take it easy.